In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up audio detection on an IP camera that has a built-in microphone or has an external microphone hookup. This video, I'm using a camera that has a built-in microphone, and I'll show you how to enable the audio detection. First, I need to open up Google Chrome. This camera just so happens to be compatible with the Google Chrome web interface. If you have an older camera, you will need to use Microsoft Edge, compatibility mode, or just use Internet Explorer. We have a separate video on how to use the Microsoft Edge compatibility mode. So I'm just going to use the IP address for my camera. My camera is .1.106. You will need to use the IP address for your camera to access its settings. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to use the factory default admin user and the default password that can be found on a label on my IP camera box. I'm going to click the login button to finish logging in. And now this camera does have audio and I can listen to that audio. So there was the audio from the camera. It's actually feeding back in through the speakers. So that's why it might be that loud kind of noise. And then to enable audio detection, I need to first go to the setting tab. And then this camera has an SD card installed to it as well. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is go to the storage tab, go to destination, and then go to local to ensure that my SD card is there and it is formatted. You will also want to go to path and make sure that you have it set to local for the scheduled and alarm based recording and snapshots. If you want to have audio detection record or snapshot, then you will need to have these paths enabled as well. So I did confirm again that my SD card was present and that I have it set to a local for recording and snapshots. The second thing I'll need to do is go under the storage tab. Here you see by default, it's already set up the storage schedule to do alarm and motion based recording. If I also wanted to do general or continuous recording, I would of course need to enable that. And then I could also set up a snapshot recording schedule as well. So to enable audio on our camera, we first need to go the, to the camera tab and then the audio tab. Here, as you can see here, I do have the mainstream enabled. This was checked. I went to encode mode and selected AAC and a sampling frequency of 1600. You want to do this for both the main and substream if you expect to record both. Down here at the bottom, we can modify the microphone volume and that's going to also affect how well that your camera can hear when it's doing audio detection. So I'm going to leave it at microphone volume 100% and then if you had an external microphone you could choose the line in or mic input for the audio in type. Again if it has a built-in microphone and external you could select mic or external microphone if the built-in microphone isn't doing what you need it to. If the camera just has an external microphone it will just say line in here. There is also a noise filter option. Again you're going to want to finely tune the noise filter if it works for you. It's, that's great. If it doesn't do much for you then you can leave it disabled. To actually enable audio detection I'm going to need to go to the event tab and then go to the audio detection tab. Inside of audio detection, there are two types of audio detection. Input abnormal actually looks for the camera to say, hey, there's actually no more audio happening um, or the microphone was cut, I can't detect any audio at all. Then you would want to enable the input abnormal or let's say uh, someone damages the microphone and it's no longer sending an audio signal, then you would want to enable the input abnormal function. However, for plain Jane audio detection, whether it's a dog barking, a loud noise from an intruder, then you can of course set up the intensity change. So I'm going to tick the intensity, the intensity change option and click the save button. After doing that, what it's going to do is show here um, the sensitivity and threshold. So to try and explain what each of these settings does, I'll go ahead and show you on this neat graphical user interface for this. So essentially the threshold is how much noise needs to occur in order for this motion detection, or sorry, <clears throat> threshold is the amount of audio that needs to occur for the audio detection to actually kick on and enable. So for example, when I increase this threshold, it's actually going to move this bar up. So in fact, that noise needs to be loud enough to actually first even trigger the audio detection. And then sensitivity is going to be how sensitive the microphone is to this audio. So if I lower the sensitivity down here, or sorry, increase the sensitivity, 
then it will even further, it, the noise will need to be even louder to break that threshold. So again, you're going to want to finely tune these settings for the noises that you're trying to capture, whether it's conversations, an intruder, or dogs barking. If you really want to capture everything, then you'll of course want to lower your threshold and lower your sensitivity. I'm going to leave them to the default settings at this point because I do not have time to finely tune them, but that's something you want to do. And I'm also right next to the camera talking, so it's, it's just constantly um, detecting my voice because I'm sitting here at the camera. So I'm going to click save and here's where you can choose it to record, snapshot, or even send you an email. If you also have push notifications set up on your smartphone, there is an option to subscribe to the push alerts for audio detection events. So you could do that as well on your smartphone. So now that I've enabled audio detection on here, I should be able to go back to the play screen and see myself talking on that timeline. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So for any of these events that you have recorded, you can of course, play them back as long as you have an SD card stored into your thing. You went to the storage tab, set up a recording schedule, ensured that the SD card is there and it's formatted, then you can do playback. So I'm going to go ahead and do playback right from this screen. So we can go to the playback tab. I can select today's date. And then I can select the alarm type down here. Or I can click this file list icon and see that I do have a file listed here. And then I could double click to play that file. So here you can see that you can see my video playing in the background. I went ahead and muted it so we weren't listening to me making the video, but it is the playback from the beginning after I enabled the audio detection feature on my camera. And as you can see, it's able to detect that audio and then it's just recording strictly based on that audio detection. I do not have video detection enabled as you'll see here. Motion detection is not enabled. It's simply going off of the audio detection. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and stay silent for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to play a clip of some dogs barking so you can get a better idea of what audio detection is intended to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see in the threshold and sensitivity setting window here, we can see where the dogs were barking and that's what actually triggered the audio detection to happen. So again, let's go back to our playback tab and see if it created a separate event or separate recording for those dogs barking. So here I am back on the playback screen and we can see at 1620 or 420, there was actually another event occurring. Let's see what that event occurred for. So as you may be able to tell, this is a very, very useful feature. Again, if you're looking to capture dogs barking, uh, the intruder would have to make a, a really loud noise to get to your home or property. Or again, if you're just looking to uh, capture conversations from your employees or, or children coming to vandalize your home, and of course they're going to laugh and holler. So hopefully this video helps you understand how you can set up audio detection and some of the things that audio detection is useful for. Thank you for watching.